Hello my dear friends. Today I want to tell you about the ambitious but at the same time the most unsuccessful Valade Sultan. Statistics show that many people watch my videos without a subscription. If you are interested in the history of the Ottoman Empire and want to learn a lot about the life of the sultans and the harem, then subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications, then you will not miss a single new video on my channel. Insidious, cunning, thirsty for power, merciless. This is how we see Halime Sultan in the TV series, The Magnificent Century Kozum Empire. Her role was brilliantly played by Aslihan Gerbuz. But what was Halime Sultan really like? Halime Sultan was the concubine of the 13th Ottoman Sultan Murad III. She became the mother of two Shahzadas, Mahmud and Mustafa. Her first son Mahmud was executed by his own father. And Halime left the only son Mustafa, who was twice the Sultan. Under Mustafa Halime, she held the title of Valide and was regent of the Ottoman Empire. Her real name was Altuncha. And the girl herself was of Abkhaz origin. When she got into the harem of Mehmet, he was not yet a sultan and served as a Sanjakbi in Manisa. Becoming his favorite concubine, Halime in 1578 gave birth to Mehmet's first son, Shahzada Mahmud. And then she gave birth to another son, Sultan Mustafa I. A little later, she gave birth to a daughter, whose name is not known. But in the TV series, Halimea's daughter is called Dilruba. She, like her mother, is quite smart, cunning and arrogant. When Mehmed became Sultan, Halime went with him and his harem to Istanbul Castle. And there she had a hard time. After all, Sophia Sultan, a self-serving, power-hungry woman, ran everything in that palace. It was Sophia who played a key role in the execution of Halimea's son, Shahzada Mahmud, who disliked his grandmother. After the death of Sultan Mehmed III, Ahmed, the son of another concubine, Handan, received his throne. According to all the rules, Ahmed should have executed his younger brother Mustafa, who, by the way, was only one year younger, not ten years, as we were shown in the TV series The Magnificent Century Kozum Empire. Ahmed spared his brother. And there were reasons for that. First Ahmed had no heirs due to his young age. Second Mustafa was mentally ill. And Ahmed didn't see him as a threat. However, Valide Handan Sultan insisted on Mustafa's execution. And when Ahmed had heirs, he ordered the execution twice. And cancelled it twice. He imprisoned Mustafa in caves, a prison for princes. And Halime was sent to the old palace and received a pension, as the widow of the Sultan. When Sultan Ahmed died, there were long disputes about who should become the Sultan his son Osman or his brother Mustafa. As a result, Mustafa received the throne. Halime Sultan returned from the old palace and became Valide. It was obvious that the insane Mustafa was not able to rule the state and power passed into the hands of Valide Halime Sultan. She got a lot of power. She was supported by the Grand Vizier Damit Khalil Pasha. In addition, the chief officer and squire of the Sultan Mustafa Aga stood on her side. The state of affairs during the reign of Valide Halime Sultan did not suit many. There was a coup in the faction that, after the death of Ahmed, voted for Osman, removed Mustafa from the throne and elevated the young Osman to him. Since then, neither Halime nor the court faction that supported her and Mustafa could live in peace, feeling the danger from Osman. Their efforts raised a rebellion of the Genissaries. The young Sultan Osman was captured. He was imprisoned in the Yedekil fortress. Osman was brutally beaten and strangled by Kara David. David presented the ear and nose to Halime as evidence that Sultan Osman had been killed. Halime put her mad son on the throne again, and she again became Valide. But riots and riots continued in the country. Under the pressure of one of these rebellions, Sultan Mustafa was again deposed from the throne. Halime had to accept all conditions in order to save her only son from death. He was imprisoned again in caves, where he spent the rest of his life. And Halime Sultan herself was again sent to the old palace, where she soon met her death in 1623. In the series, The Magnificent Century Kozum Empire, we were shown the death of Halime poison was put in her food and she poisoned herself. But in fact, how Halime Sultan died is not known. I thank you for watching. Give this video a like. 
Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And continue to stay with me so as not to miss new interesting stories about the Ottoman Empire. See you soon.